As we learned in the last episode, when combining gears with a motor, we can improve the speed and the torque of the motor. Luckily for us, there's a motor that already implements this. That motor is called the servo motor. Now, let's look at the guts of this servo motor. It has a gear system right here and a DC motor. You can also see that there's a little more to it. With servo motors, we can do something special. That is control its angle. The way that works is in this gear, there's a little potentiometer that measures what the angle is, which allows us to specifically control its angle. Now, let's actually use the servo motor. In order to do that, we need to understand just three wires. These two are the power and ground wires that go into power and ground on the Arduino. In order to understand the third wire, let's build our circuit. The code to control a servo motor is very simple. First, we initialize our servo motor variable, then we attach it to pin 9 on the Arduino. Then, in this first for loop, we change the position from 0 to 180 degrees, and every time we change the position, we write that new position to the servo motor, and then in the next for loop, we just reverse the process. What the third wire is doing is called pulse width modulation, or PWM. What it does as you can see in the image, is send out pulses of different lengths. In this case, these different pulses tell the servo which angle to go to. Now, let's finally test it out. Look at that, we have a working servo motor, but we can take it to the next level. I've 3D printed this linear actuator that's built for a servo motor. Now, let's power it up. As you can see, Servo motors are incredibly useful. In the next episode, we will learn about a world famous invention, the wheel.